Deputy President William Ruto will Monday meet more than 100 MPs as he prepares for a grueling political duel with President Uru Kenyatta and ODM boss Rayla Odinger. Ruto's strategy meeting comes as Parliament reconvenes on Tuesday with a busy entree that could shape the 2022 presidential contest. The DP, under fire from nearly all political bigwigs including his boss Uru, is also staring at a possible impeachment motion that is sure to test his grip on Parliament. Harmonization of two conflicting referendum laws, amendments to the National Cohesion and Integration Act and the BBI Constitutional Amendment Bill, currently before county assemblies, are some of the legislation coming up for debate in Parliament. The National Assembly's National Security Committee led by Kayamba MP Paul Coynange wants the National Cohesion and Integration Act amended to include class discrimination as a basis for incitement. This is intended to criminalize the hustler versus dynasties narrative, a key plank of Ruto's campaign. But perhaps the biggest showdown is the plot to impeach Ruto spearheaded by an ANC lawmaker who has left no doubt that Uru and Rayla are behind the plot. Ruto, who has since Thursday pitched tent at the coast, arrives back to Nairobi for crucial talks with about 140 MPs. The DP's meeting at his Karen residence is seen as part of his efforts to consolidate his support in Parliament which is largely controlled by Uru and Rayla after last year's decimation of his allies. Uru kicked out Ruto's allies from key parliamentary leadership positions and dished out some of the slots to opposition MPs. At Monday's meeting, Ruto's allies might have to consider how to survive the ouster spearheaded by Lugari MP Ayub Savula. The DP has been criticizing his Jubilee government's performance on development projects and blamed it on Uru's rapprochement with Rayla following the March 2018 handshake. With Ruto pulling apart, Monday's meeting at Karen would be critical in providing direction to his troops so that they can speak in one voice as Parliament resumes. This would be the third time Ruto is hosting MPs allied to 